Saturday morning in Owensboro. Good morning, people that are just joining. Good morning. I think we'll just give it one second, a couple seconds before while people are joining. Oh my goodness, what a week here in Tennessee. Um, welcome to the, the frozen tundra. <laughs> it was cold this week. It was really cold. Um, and we had beautiful snow that fell, which is awesome. Okay, I've got my Facebook and my, on my computer queued up, and um, I've got my camera here ready to go. I've got a fun card for you this morning. Um, we are going to do a swing card. So I don't have one totally prepared. I apologize, but I think we're ready to go. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around so we can get all situated here. Just one moment. Good morning for everybody that's joining. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. I think today's card will be lots of fun. And it's, we're using some designer series paper from the January to June mini catalog. Okay, I think we're good to go. So, I'm telling you, some of this paper in the mini catalog or in the celebration catalog um, are just so pretty that you may as well just get two packs. And this is one of them. Um, this is the uh, Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. And, of course, as always, our beautiful designer series paper um, is two-sided. Let me pull this out to give you. I've got lots of little scraps because I've been uh, playing. But let me put that aside. Here's full pages. So just beautiful colors. Um, highlighting the new in color of the um, bumblebee. And we've got um, Poppy Parade in here. Uh, Blackberry Bliss with some gorgeous paper, um, gorgeous design on the other side. I just love this, how it's uh, faded for this portion right here. You could use that on the inside of a card. Um, still stamp on it, write on it for a greeting. I, I love this. This is one of my favorites. So pretty. Look at that bumblebee design. Oh, I love that bumblebee color. Now this color, um, this piece we're going to be using for um, the cards for bingo and cards coming up the first weekend of um, March. If you didn't sign up, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, uh, um, registration has already closed. We got a good, good little group um, that is um, all set to participate, but there will be another one coming. Um, so we're going to be using this. I cannot wait to show you this card. Um, today, we're going to be using this piece. I love these colors. Just love it. Pool party with the peacock color in the back, the bumblebee. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Look at this gorgeous piece. Ugh, I love that. Same thing. This is so muted that you could use it in the inside of a card with a greeting on it, and you can still put your, your writing on there. So, okay. So let's get started. I did kind of cut up the designer series paper so I can put my big pieces aside. Um, I'll sh I'm going to, as usual, um, I didn't last week because I was having technical issues, so I can come back uh, today and give the measurements for our card that we did last week. I've got, um, I'm now two drawings behind. So this was our card last week. We need to put a winner on this. So I, I will put the dimensions on this. This is the gatefold. And then uh, the week before that, we did the shaker card, the easy, easy peasy shaker card. And that I will do the drawing today as well. So if you want to be in uh, 
today's drawing for this week's card, or I'm sorry, I will do this drawing next um, Saturday, 10 o'clock. If you want to be in that drawing for the card we're making today, make sure you share this video, either live or um, on replay. All you have to do is write for um, uh, where you are. Just go ahead and hit share and we will be set to go. Okay, so we are going to take our traditional eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. This is pool party. And I want to cut this to eight and a half by five and a half. So let's go ahead and get this settled. Let's see, five and a half. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Uh, I think I'll do it this way first. Okay, so eight and a half. So nice to have this little, uh, the arm that swings out so you uh, can do larger cuts. Okay, so we got our eight and a half there. And now we're going to do five and a half. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside because I want to, uh, I want to make something with that or make something to go with this card. Okay, so with this, we are gonna put it, we're going to score this card um, the traditional way at four and a quarter. So let me move this up. I think I'm a little out of, there we go. Oh, hopefully that's better. This is at four and a quarter. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to score the front half in half. So I'm going to take that and score it at two and an eighth. Just like that. So I'm going to move this aside. And so what I've got is my front scored in half. And then I've got the, the uh, card base scored in half. Use my bone folder and we'll just uh, get that situated. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, you could do this with a punch, but I'm going to do it with um, layering squares. So I've got the, um, the set that I have, I have the two biggest, um, two biggest that go together in the layer, and I'm going to use the bigger one. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to open up the card and on the side that has the, um, the half that's in half, I'm going to go ahead and set up my largest square. And what I'm doing is I'm positioning it, the square, in the center of this score line. And you could use, I'm just using tape here. Um, on today's Amazon list is purple tape. I've got to get purple tape. Okay, so we are going to cut that out. I also, at the same time, I need two squares of white in the, the layering size. And then I also want to do a cover-up piece. Yeah, that'll work. A cover-up piece in my same color of pool party. So let's go ahead and get um, my Big Shot out. I guess it's not the Big Shot anymore, is it? It is the cutting machine. Okay. Yep, looks like you can see this pretty well. Okay, so what um, for this card, the swing card, what we want to do is we are going only only to cut half of this shape. So I'm putting it in as usual, but when I am going to layer this just up to the mark of where I want it to cut. So I'm not going to even go slightly below, but don't go much below that. And then you just kind of, you know, feed it in your machine until it, oops, it is 
moving. Okay, we're good. So feed it into your machine as you go. And it is gonna pop because it's a little bit off. And pulling it through. While I'm here, I'll show you how this looks in just a second. While I'm here, I wanna go ahead and cut, um, cut that. I call it a faux piece. I want to cut a faux piece in the size of this, my second um, square. I did already uh, pre-cut my two whisper whites, or what is it called now? Bold bright, or I can't even, I am sorry, I can't even remember what the white is called anymore. The new white. You know what I'm talking about, people. Gail, yes, Gail calls it a cruncher. I remember that. When I'm at Gail's house, she always offers people to use the cruncher. So, um, okay, so I love that our machine is fold upable. Um, so helpful. And then you can just, you know, put it aside if you don't have enough room in your craft room. Basic white. Thank you, Sarah. I knew you'd come to my rescue. Okay, so we've got our little pieces all cut, and we can put that aside. Okay, so come back to our little design here, and just gingerly take that off. You know, I always have disasters with tape. That's why I'm like, I've got to get painter's tape. It's a must. It's a must because I always tear and look at I didn't tear today. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, so here's what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and open my card. I'm going to burnish this so it stays a little easier. And voila, that's the that's our swing card. Okay, so now let's start with some of our decoration. Um, I, again, wanted to pull out a wonderful set from um, the Celebration catalog. This is a set that you can earn for free. And my goodness, there's 17 stamps in this. 17. That's crazy. Lots of, lots of things you can do with this. Lots of greeting, accent pieces here. Love it. And it's my favorite, two-step stamping. You can't go wrong with that can't go wrong. Okay, so we are going to, if I can find it, I need my little uh, piercing mat. Yeah, you know it. My desk is a mess as usual. Here it is. Uh, I still have a, I still have the paper on from last week, so forgive me. Let's turn that over so we don't have to see such a mess. I didn't ask you guys. Have you had snow and cold where you are? I bet you did. This whole country seems to be in a little frozen, frozen cap. Okay, that's better. Okay, so with my square, my layering square, I'm going to use a uh, pretty peacock because although it's not one of the matching um, in the catalog um, ones that they gave, I think it goes beautifully with this. And it's almost like a dark neutral that you can use with almost anything. So I am going to use Pretty Peacock and I pulled out the um, Thinking of You from this set. And this is a little spot that I get. Um, this spot came in the paper pumpkin. Did you know each month you get a free stampin' spot in your paper pumpkin kit? It's awesome. And now I have, I think, all of the um, ink colors from paper pumpkin, which is awesome. There we go, beautiful. I love that color. Okay, and then I've also pulled the um, the butterfly. 
So I'm going to use the butterfly. Um, just a reminder that with the stamp that has the most color, you are going to do the lighter shade. So this is the bumblebee, also an in color for 20, what is it, 20 to 22, I believe. So the in colors go for two years and then they retire, which is another reason to get them in the spots. Make them yourself, a little more economical. Just a tip from me to you. And then I'm gonna lay this down first. So I can't remember if I mentioned, but this is Bumblebee. And then let me clean the stamp off real quick. Oh my goodness. I love the chamois. The chamois is one of our giveaways for bingo and cards. I'm so excited. We have great prizes for bingo and cards. Okay, and I'm going to come on top with the outline. Of the butterfly. And this is again in the Pretty Peacock. Is that what it's called? Pretty Peacock? Yep, Pretty Peacock. Okay. Probably more ink than I need, but I want to make sure. There we go. Ooh, I love those colors together. That's so pretty. While we're stamping, let's go ahead and get, um, let's go ahead and get the inside done. Um, I'm not really sure. I had thinking of you on the inside. Or I'm sorry, thinking of you on the outside. And then... I think we'll do something very simple. I'm purposely not coloring that in. Let me set that aside so I don't dump it and get ink on anything. Let's do the uh, love on the inside. So cute. So petite. There it is. I'm going to stamp that in the bumblebee. Let me just make sure it's going to show up sufficiently. Yes, ma'am. That is going to work. Okay. Now we're just about ready to start decorating. Okay. Let's bring our pieces back over. So again, here is our outline for our swing card. Um, previously, I went ahead and cut my DSP, the designer series paper. Um, this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a little piece here too by five and a quarter. There was a way that this lined up, so I can't remember what that is. Let's see. I think that's it. Okay, let's put it that down. You could also do um, what I was mentioning before. Put the beautiful DSP behind there. But I like the other showing. So I think I'm going to have that showing and then this on the outside. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so today is already, what, the 20th of March? Can you believe it? Or, I'm sorry, February? Yeah, can you believe it? Ugh, time is going by so quickly. If you haven't uh, gotten your free gift, your celebration gift, 
Um, don't wait too much longer because celebration ends on the 28th. So we have eight more days uh, to get, get nice freebies. Um, so you don't want to miss that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my decoration for the front. And as you lay this down, you want to center it with your, with your top here. So just make sure you're getting it in the center of the square. Or if you want to do a circle or a rectangle, you can do whatever shape you want. It's up to you. And then I want to come back. Oops, I forgot to do something. With this little line here, you could cover it up um, with a shape. But I think, um, I obviously, because I laid this down, I'm not going to do that. If you were going to do that, um, what I would do is lay it down first and then put your DSP over it. Okay, so, oops, not doing that. Um, the next thing we want to do is get this centered on where we have our little um, square to cover it up. So I think what I'm going to do here is use... I'm going to use a little glue dot because this will come off fairly easy. So I'm going to put a little glue dot. Let's see what I want to do. So I want it there to cover up my little mark. And that would be pretty now because I want this to be able to write on. Okay, so we are going to put it here. So I am going to just put, let's see, how am I going to do this? I want this in the center, yep, like that. No, I don't think we even need that. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Hold on. Got to get my tape on here. Hold on. I think I can do it. This can't be that difficult, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Okay, so I'm centering it on here. And then I'm just going to close it. Voila. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish it up with some cute opal rounds. Now these are also in the June to, or I'm sorry, January to June mini catalog. I love these things. They're, um, they have li like glitter in them, but yet they're opaque. Um, I think they're pretty. Oops. Very nice. Okay, there we go. You've got a swing card. And a stylish one at that. So what's missing? We just need an envelope and then we're ready to go. Isn't that cute? I love that. So I will post this video and give you the dimensions. I hope you try this sometime this week. Um, if you do, definitely um, let me know. Show it. Share it so we can see it. Um, I'm available for questions, of course, or orders at southerncreations.stampinup.net. Um, in just a second, I'm going to do the drawings for the past two weeks. But if you want to be in this week's drawing, which will happen next Saturday, um, for this card, go ahead and share the video. I will see you next Saturday, 10 o'clock, same place. Thanks for being here.